What's up everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube thumbnail on Canva. I just finished uploading a video that I made about a problem that I had solving a Rubik's Cube. Unfortunately I was unable to solve it and I felt confused on the last turns. So I'm going to make this thumbna thumbnail based off of my confusion and uh, upload a picture of Nick's young confused face from that meme. So to start off in your Canva app, Search for YouTube thumbnail. It should pop up as the second option there. I'm going to use a blank canvas to try and make it as original as possible. You tap to select your image you want to use and it'll pull up your gallery. I already downloaded this off of Google, so I'm going to use Nick Young's face with the question marks as the background. Now I want to add an image on top of this. So I'll hit the plus, go to image, Again, select the gallery next to the camera. And I'm going to put in this uh, Rubik's Cube here. Uh, hmm. I thought it was. There. Oh, okay. I'm going to slide this guy here on the top left corner to kind of stick with the uh, Z method reading from left to right. Now I want to add some text to it. I can do by hitting the plus sign, go to text, and then add some text of your own. And I'll put for this title, on YouTube I have it called Problem Solving Rubik's Cube, but I think I'm going to call this Rubik's Cube Problem. And I'll stack them up. You can change the color by selecting this black box next to the font size. I want to try and get it as close to maybe the, the blue that's on the Rubik's Cube. So I'll just hover it over and scroll over to blue to try and find a similar hex. It's not going to be perfect but to try to remain as consistent as possible. Let's go with that. I guess that looks pretty close. I want to try and make it pretty uh, a bold font, so I'm going to go with, I think it's called Anton. There it is. Now this, since I don't want to cover his face, I'm going to stick it here to the bottom right. But I want to change the spacing on it and bring the line height a little closer. I'm pretty good with the letter spacing, but I'm going to make the font just a hair bigger. Now I'm afraid that this thumbnail may not stick out too much because the colors going on with the Rubik's Cube. Um, so I'm going to make the text here. I'm going to duplicate it by selecting the text, tapping on the three dots next to the trash can here on the top center, and then copying it. I'm just going to change the color of this copy to say about maybe the yellow here. Again, to remain consistent with the colors. Perfect, but I guess you get the idea. I guess that's close enough. I'm going to hover this guy over the original to give it a pop. Because unfortunately, Canva doesn't give you the option to add a stroke to your text or shadows for that matter. So sometimes you just have to kind of think outside the box and duplicate your fonts or mess around with it, whatever suits your your style. So here we go. It's not much, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and save this design, making the magic happen, successfully saved. So now, I'm pretty sure the video is done uploading. I'm gonna hop on over to my YouTube studio where I can find my app or the video 
and go ahead and upload it, which it's already here. It's kind of confusing. Change. Okay, yeah, anyways, so select that. I'm going to save it. And shabam, that's pretty much how you use your your Canva on your app. Uh, that's pretty much how you use Canva <laughs> to make yourself a YouTube thumbnail. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns on using Canva, layering up fonts, or downloading images from Google as PNGs, comment below. If you like it, shoot a thumbs up. Um, and thanks for watching.